Hey, this is Andrew Brown from Exam Pro, and we are taking a look here at BigQuery. So what I want you to do is go to the top and type in BigQuery. Uh, and this is one of Google's flagship products because it does something that other cloud service providers does not do, and it's the fact that it's a serverless data warehouse. So other um, providers like uh, Redshift or, um, I'm kind of forgetting the one, uh, Azure uh, uh, Synapse, uh, things like that, uh, they are not serverless. That means that they have an idle cost that you pay for, and they're generally really expensive. Uh, but uh, uh, BigQuery is very cost effective because it can scale to zero and you're paying for consumption, okay? So uh, for me, it's actually a service I definitely use on a regular basis and I really, really like it. Uh, so just to kind of give you an idea of how this uh, works now, if you have not attached your credit card yet and you're using the sandbox, it is totally safe to do this. Um, but if you do have your credit card attached, I'd probably suggest not querying if you're trying to be cost effective here. But they have a bunch of um, data sets here. And so here is one for COVID. And a lot of these are public data sets, or I mean, this one is at least. And that means that uh, Google has made it available to you. And uh, for this one in particular, for new users, you can store up to 10 gigabytes of data up to uh, and query up to one terabyte each month for free. So you can really play around with BigQuery in that sense. Once you attach a credit card, it's no longer free. Actually, I'm not really sure if, if, it's, if it's still extended to be free outside of sandbox mode, uh, but I can't be certain, okay? So if we go back here, we don't have to uh, do anything. The data set's already there. We just have to reference it. So uh, it was a bit hard to find any available queries, but I did find one on this blog post. So thank you, whoever did this. And let's go ahead and grab this here and see if we can run ourselves a successful query. Notice it's going to suggest how much data it's going to process. This is important because it's our consumption. And we'll go ahead and hit run, okay? And we will see what we get back. And so there we there we go, we got some uh, data back. You go ahead and explore the data. So explore it in Data Studio or GeoViz. So if you have some other things there, you could uh, see that data, create some live dashboards and things like that. But that's pretty much it. That's all I really wanted to show you. Um, and that is BigQuery.